everybody. Welcome to Yummy Foods, Hack Your Snack. Today we're going to make a delicious fruit sundae. We always prepare food in a clean space, so I'm going to wipe down this area first. Ask an adult about which cleaning products to use. Always remember to wash your hands with warm water. You should wash them long enough to be able to sing the happy birthday song twice. After you dry your hands, remember you can always pause the video between each step if you need to. For today's recipe, you will need one cutting board, one small knife, plastic will do just fine, a strainer, one big spoon for mixing, a can opener, three measuring cups, this one is one cup, this is a half a cup, and a quarter cup. And lastly, a big bowl for mixing and storing your food. For our first ingredient, we're going to slice up some strawberries. Now, ask for adult help if you need it. Notice that I start by cutting off the tops and then slicing them into small bite-sized chunks, whatever that means for you. Keep cutting up those strawberries until you fill one cup. Strawberries are in season here in California in late spring or early summer. So like right about now. This means that they should be easy to find at the grocery store on sale or maybe even at your local food distribution. But the really cool thing about strawberries is they are packed with vitamin C. In fact, just one serving of strawberries has a full day's value of vitamin C. This not only helps boost your immune system, but it's also used to help form blood vessels, cartilage, muscles, and the collagen in your bones. Next up we have pineapple. It doesn't really matter if it's canned or not, but if you're opening from a can, then make sure that you ask for adult help because those sharp edges can be dangerous. Just like the strawberries, we want about one cup of pineapple. Next up we have blueberries. I like the frozen kind. It makes it more like a sundae. How much does it look like we need? You guessed it, one cup. And then we have two mandarin oranges. These can be kind of tricky to peel, so make sure that you ask for help if you need it. Then we have six ounces of non-fat or low-fat yogurt. Six ounces is the same as three quarters of a cup. That means that I'm going to add one half cup and one quarter cup. Lastly, we add one half cup of dried toasted oat cereal. Make sure you look for the whole grain on the label. Or if you want something different, try using granola instead of cereal. Some folks might like it like this, but if you're like me, you'll want to mix it up. And if you don't want to mix your sundae, you can always layer it, like this parfait right here. Now it's time to try it. Hey, that's not bad. Don't forget to clean up. It's important to leave places better than how you found them. Click on the link for the original recipe. Don't worry if you don't have the exact same fruits. You can always make substitutions just like I did. Happy snacking!